It's now been about three months since my WeCreate laser engraving machine was first delivered. The stork dropped off this 65 pound bundle of joy on my doorstep. My first review of the machine was very favorable, but now three months later, what do I think of the WeCreate laser engraving machine? Has my opinion changed? Has the novelty wore off? Let me tell you what I really think. So has my opinion changed over the last three months on this WeCreate laser engraving machine? Yes, it has. It's actually better than I initially thought. There's a few things that really set this apart and why I would recommend this to any beginner. This is the best beginner laser engraver machine out there. Why? First of all, the software. The software has some really cool and interesting features. Now, Lightburn is a program that you can purchase. It has a lot of great features, a lot of things that you can do with that software that you can't do with this. But this has a lot of great and interesting features really designed around the beginner. Let me show you. When you launch the software, this is what you see. I have an option to create a new project from scratch, or I can create a project using one of the patterns below. These are categorized by materials like wood, leather, acrylic, paper. But keep in mind that these are not the only materials you're limited to. I've never used a laser to cut paper, so I picked this Mother's Day card for my first one. All I did was click on make it, and it pulls the pattern into the working canvas. Then I resized it to fit my paper, clicked start. And here you can see in real time how the laser cleanly cuts intricate designs into the cardstock. Crisp cuts with no burnt edges. That's just flat out cool and perfect. Here's another fun and interesting feature of the software. On the left side is this AI generator. Artificial intelligence is built into the program to generate any image you want. It doesn't always generate the most intelligent images, like when I asked it to give me a picture of a cat hugging a dog. Actually, that looks like two dogs, and they're not really hugging. <laughs> or this YouTube logo of a man upside down inside of a garbage can with his legs sticking out. Not bad, but I do think mine's better. But then I asked for an image of two puppies, and I got this cute picture which I can add to the canvas and immediately engrave it onto a piece of wood. In six minutes, this is what I got. It's not a perfect copy, but it looks pretty good. You can always tweak the settings to get a better image. You can also use this process to transfer an image to a piece of wood that you want to paint or carve by hand later. I have this piece of rock, granite, not sure exactly what it is, but it has a nice flat surface. Let's see what it can do. There are no presets for this material, so I'm pretty much guessing. When I say guessing, understand that it's not a big deal if my guess is wrong. If I choose power and speed settings that are too low, I can just change the settings and make a second pass. It'll engrave right on top of the first pass, as long as I don't move the item. If I choose a power and speed setting that's too high, it's not going to hurt the rock. That's pretty cool. This thing is going to look great sitting in a garden or on a front porch. It's pretty cool knowing that you can make a rock say just about anything. Oh, it matters what the rock says. I have some random sized slate pieces that came off of a roof from a building in Chicago. Amazon also sells these pre-made round and square coasters you can engrave on. Now it's a one-of-a-kind sign with a historical significance. You can also sell custom-made signs as a side hustle. Now I've shown you how this cuts and engraves paper, wood, stone, slate. It also can etch glass. This does require some preparation. You first need to obscure the glass. Some cheap tempera or acrylic paint seems to do the trick. The estimated time to complete the project is provided before you begin. This one came up as an hour, so I lowered the quality a bit and got it down to about half that time. When it's finished, the tempera paint easily washes off and you're left with a permanent quality glass etching. The finished product looks really good. I pulled in this kitchen conversion chart and engraved it on a cheap bamboo cutting board I bought at a yard sale for only a buck. I then pulled it into the WeCreate software. The length of time it takes to score or engrave the image depends on the darkness and detail you choose. These settings took about 30 minutes to make. When I first took it out of the machine, I noticed some of the wood grain lines that came out lighter than the rest. 
Sometimes this can be fixed with a little of my Slip and Shine product. It works as a butcher block oil, which by the way, Slip and Shine is available on the website simpletoncreation.com. I also scored the image on the backside so you can see the difference between engraving and scoring the wood. Sometimes when you score or engrave wood, you will get a little burning, but a quick sanding will remove it. If you're still on the fence as to whether or not to get the WeCreate laser engraving machine for yourself, let me just say a few things. First of all, the price did go down recently. The machine costs about 1200 bucks. Now, I know that seems like a lot of money, but you are getting a high quality machine that's gonna last you for years. Number two, it makes for a really fun hobby. You've seen in a short time just a few things that I made. You can make thousands of different interesting and cool items for birthday gifts and Christmas gifts. Your imagination can run wild with this machine. Number three, it really enhances your creativity, especially in areas and skills that you already have. You might be a leather worker, a woodworker, a paper crafter. Well, you can use this machine for all those different areas and really make your ideas come alive. Number four, you can use this machine to create your own small business. I don't expect you're gonna make so much money that you can quit your day job, but if you made a little bit of side money so the machine paid for itself, it's a win-win. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching Alley Picked. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and until next time, I'll meet you in the alley.